Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up for the Sagittarius Collective December 26th through January 1st. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, therefore not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does and leave what doesn't. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up here for the Sagittarius Collective. One more shuffle. Let's get right on into it and see what we have coming up for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising. Alrighty, my dears. First card we have coming up here is the Lovers. This could be Gemini energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, could be a significant soulmate that you're dealing with at this time. Now, soulmates don't have to be romantic. They can be, but they don't have to be. If you have Gemini placements, there could be big changes and big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. This is a major arcana card, so it's safe to say the things that are happening over the next seven days are setting a series of events into motion that are bringing you to a new crossroads, a new chapter. And some of you may be manifesting love and romance. However, a lot of you have heard me say this uh, before in my readings. When the tarot was first put together, the sixth major arcana card was not called the lovers. It was called the choice, the decision, the sacrifice, uh, and different decks had different names for it, uh, as I just uh, listed them. And so even if it is in terms of love life, this card comes up with the sense of, do I want this or do I want that? Like, which one do I want? You might have choices or options that you're having to, uh, to, to pick from. But specifically, you might be thinking, okay, I want this particular thing, but it's going to require this particular sacrifice. And so you might be asking yourself, do I want to sacrifice it? Is what I'm getting worth more than what I'm giving up for a situation? So that being said, you might just kind of be looking at your life and looking at where you're putting energy. And you might be weighing, what is this giving me? What am I getting out of this? But what is it costing me? And at the end of it, is it worth it? Is, is it worth it? Uh, some of you might be in a situation where it feels like a whole lot of work for a little bit of juice, like a whole lot of uh, squeezing for a teensy bit of juice. And you might be thinking it's, it's not worthwhile. So you might be looking at your uh, involvements, whether they be in work, career, friendships, love life, and asking yourself, what am I giving and what am I getting? Is it, do I feel it's fair? Do I feel it's worth it? So I feel a sense of exchange. Like you're looking and you're examining your, your, your rate of exchange. The next card coming up here for the Sagittarius Collective is the King of Cups. And this could be water sign energy. So maybe some of you are having to choose or to decide between a Gemini and the water sign. Water signs would be Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancerian. Uh, so it could be uh, that you're you're uh, making a choice or decision here between these two. Uh, King of Cups is also very um, giving energy, very generous energy, very successful, very abundant energy. But he's also nobody's fool. He can give and he can be generous, but he's not going to give in a situation where he's being taken advantage of. So again, this is kind of confirming the energy that I got, like the rate of exchange. What are you giving and what are you getting back? Some of you Sagittarius feel like you're not receiving the proper respect or like somebody's treating you like a free ride or uh, like they're just not appreciative at all for what you're doing and you're getting into this energy where it's like they need to make changes or this arrangement is done some of you i feel like it's actually coming to the point where you may be asking somebody to leave your home uh maybe this is a grown child uh maybe this is a love interest maybe it's a friend that 
you were helping out or, or a family member. But for some reason, I feel a sense of like asking somebody to, to move your, uh, to like leave your home. And I feel like you're looking at this person or this situation like it's getting in the way of your love life. And uh, you don't want it anymore. You don't want it getting in the way of your love life. That's the feeling and the vibe I'm getting. The next card coming up here for the Sagittarius Collective is the Hierophant. This could be Taurus energy, Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus, uh, who, um, again, might be a significant soulmate as you're going through these changes, transitions, and crossroads. Hierophant is very much about commitment, loyalty. It's also a card that is sometimes associated with marriage, as is the King of Cups. So there could be something, your Sagittarius, where you're looking at a marriage. And you might be thinking, I want to be married. But if I'm getting married, I have to make certain sacrifices. Or it's going to change my life in certain ways. Do I want to do that? What is marriage going to give me that being single isn't giving me? And which one, the pros outweigh the cons. You might be deciding between more than one person in terms of marriage. Uh, do I want this person or that person? Do I want to be married? Do I want to be single? Do I want to be married or do I want to live with somebody? You might be looking at commitment and trying to figure out like what kind of commitment do you want? What kind of commitment is going to make you happy? Um, I feel also... Some of you maybe are requiring a certain level of loyalty, ethics, morals, uh, commitments to yourself. Like you're wanting someone to make certain promises to you or certain commitments to you. You may be connecting with, uh, even if you're not like a religious person, you may be reconnecting with your uh, your upbringing, like, like the religion that was taught to you in childhood, you may be returning to it, looking to it as like a marker or a ruler or like an instruction manual as you're moving forward into uh, choices and decisions that you're making for your future moving forward. And you may be requiring this of the people around you right? So maybe like in your household, you're saying if we're in, in this household, these are the rules we're going to live by. And the rules we're going to live by is the rules that were given to you in childhood from the belief system or the religion that your family was teaching you. You might be bringing that into your household. These are, these are the rules now. This is what we're following. And anybody who's living here has to respect and, and go by these rules. Um, there could be sometimes like like something around conversion also with the Hierophant. Maybe you're converting, maybe you're wanting to get married and um, you might be feeling like you want this person to convert and you're thinking, okay, well, what if they don't want to convert? And like, am I going to be willing to bring this up? Like, what if they say no, then, then like, what am I going to do? Am I going to tell this person I don't want to be with them if they're not converting? There could be issues regarding religion coming up and belief systems, but specifically around making a home, making a home, having a connection, having a commitment. The next card coming up here for the Sagittarius Collective is the artist. And this is another major arcana card. Not every tarot deck has the artist as a major arcana card. Obviously, this deck does, as we see it here. Um, but I would like to bring to your attention, Sagittarius, that all of your cards are major arcana with the exception of but one. So when I have major arcana cards coming in back to back like this, it tells me big changes and big shifts in a short period of time. You're clearing out a lot of old karma and you're evolving at a very fast rate. And so this is a relationship that is connected to this evolution. You may be stepping away from a relationship or commitment uh, that has been very long standing, that you've had for a long time for something new that has come into your life. And it might be like, well, wait a minute, how are you all like gung ho with this? How are you all of a sudden, uh, you know, so committed to the new thing when you have so much time invested with the old thing? And the thing here with the seraphim, there could be something in terms of like beliefs, priorities, uh, 
uh, ethics, morals, character that you're being drawn to. And you might say, well, maybe I have more time invested in this other thing, but this new thing is more uh, in line with my spirit, more um, in line with my uh, uh, character, my, my values. And so that's why I'm able to make this sudden change, this sudden shift and, 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 and be so devoted or be so committed to this situation or to this person because it speaks to my spirit. I've been going against my spirit and now I'm in uh, in union, right? Like I'm in the flow of my spirit and this person is, is in that flow. This person is, is on that level. The artist here is going to be about disconnecting from outside distractions and going within ourselves for inspiration. Some of you might have an idea of something you're putting together. Uh, you might have a sudden burst of creativity. Creativity and intuition go hand in hand. So as your creativity is increasing, your intuition is increasing, and you're making your decisions and choices based on what your gut is telling you, your beliefs, okay? And there's a sense of creation here. Uh, you're either manifesting at a very fast rate or you're very inspired and you're putting together something that you're going to put out into the world that's going to give you a very positive return. You may be working on some kind of a manuscript or a screenplay. Um, you may be doing something in terms of like music or like, like a play or something that you might be writing. Uh, but it's like very inspired energy and you're going within. So you might be spending uh, more time alone as you're working on these things, as you're, you know, uh, working on this project or these ideas or these moments of inspiration. Maybe previously you've looked for people to partner up to do this with, uh, like a creative partner or a writing partner, but you're finding that you're getting much more done and much more inspired doing this on your own. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, there is a link in the description that will take you to the playlist of the other videos. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the 2023 forecasts. There's a link in the description that will take you to the 2023 readings. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.